So, been working on temple trekking, um, getting a lot of iron and coal ore. Had like 50 total to do, and I don't know, I think I've done like 10. Um, I think this is going to be the last clue. Oh, maybe not. Alright, this is definitely going to be the last clue in the step. Oh, I should mention, it's day 71, beginning of week 11. Um, it's clue scroll weekend right now, so I'm going to take a little bit advantage of it. Uh, I might do a little bit of Slayer later on. Casket and a festive box thing. Uh, I don't really want the rest. The festive box is guaranteed this weekend, so I'm just going to do my free reroll. And got another Quartz Summons, cool. So I can go take care of that for a little bit of free XP. And uh, what's in the festive box? Okay, um... Mince Pies? <laughs> okay, I don't know what those, uh... What those are for, but... Alright, I'll alk this other stuff. And, uh... Yeah, I gotta go back to Temple Trekking for a long time, though. Uh, I'm trying to finish off 80 Smithing, and then... Um, I pretty much have 80 crafting out of the way, uh, about 17,000 left to go, which is like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes on a uh, Ithil hour. So just waiting for that to come up, and um, once I get Invention, I'm going to, I am going to go start doing some Slayer to get Invention up uh, real quick. I'll probably augment my uh, garb and gown here, since I do have two of them. Um, yeah. Onto that. And that's now complete. 594. Let me just uh, eat lobster because I think they put an item in your inventory. Oh, I need 87 something to claim it. Okay, I'll come back for that eventually. Uh, but that's the end of temple trekking. Um, I don't know if that's actually a comp requirement, but I know getting uh, more Tanya Legs 4 requires that. Uh, so yeah, that's taken care of. Um, and I think I now have enough iron to go and do my smithing. Uh, I've got a little bit more than just, you know, sm uh, smithing the iron that I have here. Um, but it should be sorted, my 80 smithing, so, uh, time to go do a few hours of grinding at least. And there's the end of Kindred Spirits. I now have access to, uh, Linza here in, uh, Barrows. Uh, probably not going to farm for her equipment specifically, but, uh, yeah. And there's 78 smithing uh, and 80 crafting. The uh, big one, ornate bowl, whenever I hit uh, 80 mining, so that'll probably end up being next week. And invention. Ooh, getting close. Yet again, I missed the quest dialogue, but that's the end of uh, uh, Love Story, yeah. And 30k coins, um, lots of XP. I think like 40k smithing was one of them. I uh, need to return this ring to Mabel up here for another 10k XP lamp. And like a hundred teleport to house, which is, uh, that's nice to use. Um, the uh, guide on the wiki told me I needed two attack styles, but I never had to switch, so... Yeah. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to take this, but... Okay, on to the next clip. And there she is. She was sitting, like, right here in this sack. Uh, here we go. 10k XP and smithing. Got a farming daily, re-rolling it into, uh, flat pack mahogany wardrobes, because, uh, well, I kind of need 79 construction for Lord of Vampirium anyway. And, uh, yeah. Uh, getting really close to 79 smithing. And then, uh, going to put today's Jack of Trades on smithing again. It'll probably be the last day that I have to do that. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll be able to get the, the 80 smithing tonight for invention. Yeah! And because I got tired of AFKing at Artisan's Workshop, even though I had everything I needed to get the rest of the way, I thought I'd do it more fashionably. There we go. 80 smithing. And I wonder if that got me two levels, because I was 2077, I'm 2078, even though Invention's unlocked. So I, di I didn't know if this was, uh, if this counted towards, um, my total level, like as soon as it ticked over I'd get plus two or something. But, uh, <laughs> time to go, uh, learn the skill, because I don't, I don't actually really know it that well. Ooh, I'll make my godsword blade too.
but I think I'll wait for Traher an hour to do that, because that's some smithing XP, right? And I managed to get talking for my augmented flowers. Uh, totally going to disassemble these right now, though, because I think I get... No, I don't, I don't get anything back. Yeah, I get nothing back. And what are these? Disassembled into various things, okay. So you can see I've got a lot of stuff for disassembling so far. I saved up swamp lizards and orange salamanders way back when I was training Hunter. And uh, these are from shop runs. Uh, this is just for some XP, even though it'll probably take forever. And then uh, this gives like living components or healthy, something like that, which are fairly useful for, um, I don't know, I think a perk or something like that. Uh, this is my first time using Invention. I'm, I'm so happy right now. I cannot explain how happy I am. Uh, okay, let go. Alright, doing my first uh, disassembly. It's item level 5, and I don't think it can go higher because I'm only Invention level 10. Uh, if I'm wasting XP right now, you know, oh well. Um, 91,000 Invention experience, that's crazy. Let's see, what level did that get me? Level 22, uh, so I've got five left to go. Uh, gotta go make my rune ethereal pieces, at least a few of them. Oh, and that's total level uh, 2100. Nice. Alright, been working on monkfish for a little while, doing some uh, fishvention as it's called. And um, got the fishing rod to level 5, so we're going to disassemble it. Hopefully I'll actually unlock the level 10 now, I think I will. And, uh, let's see, invention level 27 now, which is, uh, exactly right, so I can make augmented items to level 10 and siphons. Uh, unlocking siphons gives me good reason to, uh, augment my subjugation pieces right here and right here. Uh, yeah, so I might do that soon. So decided to start doing some Slayer with my uh, augmented hand cannon. Finished up a Water Fiends task and got almost level 5 just off of the uh, about 100 something kills. Uh, gonna use my free reroll even though that was an H4. Uh, cool, some not skipping tickets. That uh, that really ups my value, uh, the value in my bank. <laughs> it's, it's not worth anything to me really, but... Um, oh, nice! Slayer VIP tickets and some useless things here, but I don't have any of those yet, so uh, those will really come in handy. Oh, and if you're if you're wondering what that was, that's uh, because it's the um, the Clue Scroll Winter Weekend, uh, so I'm gonna go get my free Clue Scroll for the day, which will be another free hard, and um, yeah. And here's another hard clue that looks really good for my bank, but eh. Let's see what's in this. Eh. Nothing really useful. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to stock up on these um, skipping tickets. Maybe the I'll use the uh, the emote ones just because I don't I don't really like uh, or the the costume skipping tickets because you know it saves some time, makes things a little bit easier. Uh, but these are worth so much. <laughs> it just it'll look good if I ever do a, a wealth evaluator, right? So, I'm mining some crystal flecked sandstone for the first time. Uh, actually, first time ever, but first time on this account. Um, I'm using my banner boost for the day. Uh, it kind of. It's still kind of screwy and it ticks down from time to time, but um, eventually it'll go back up to 81 and then I can mine it again. Uh, just gonna get my daily limit every day doing this, and before too long on ithil hours, I will be. Uh, pushing for higher crafting levels, you know, just harping all the time. Um, and eventually I'll get to where I can actually make the flasks. So, my new daily is either plant catentine seeds, which farming dailies are generally pretty bad when it's just like plant a seed, or clean grimy torstal herbs. I'm gonna pick the torstal, uh, but I don't have any, and I don't know where I can get any, uh, other than that I'm gonna start QBD eventually. Like, I need another five level, or, okay, three levels, and I can banner boost for super anti-fires. So, 600k XP, I might have that here, and I can I can run through that real quick. Um, and then my daily jack of trades for a few days, I'll go do that right now. Um, yeah, I hope that's not one that ends up expiring, because I have, 
I have no idea where I'm going to get those torstoles. Also, I believe I mentioned something on last week's video about doing maple short bows, and you can see I'm uh, making them right here. Now, I'm not sure if the wiki was correct at the time. It seems to have been edited since then. Uh, but maple short bows and maple shield bows seem to be uh, exactly the same in terms of components. Um, but the wiki read otherwise when I last looked at it, like, you know, like a week ago. Um, so I'm not sure if it was just like misinformation or something that was there that was later corrected, or if short bows are still the best way to go. Um, but uh, I think I'll just hold on to this 1400 stack of, sh of uh, short bows, I'll string those, and then I'll make all the rest into shield bows and uh, go through them. And here's another hard clue casket. And what's in here? And war junk. All right, and here's my first scroll mission. Uh, it'll be a 64% chance. I currently have it set to, let me make sure that's right. Uh, yeah, Death Lotus darts. I don't know if that's that's just right. Um, I mean, I do want ranged pieces, so I, I guess I'll go for the uh, maybe the chest plate. Yeah, I'll get the Death Lotus set first though, because it'll be uh, easier to learn Raxon. So last clip of day seventy-two, doing an elite clue. That's you know that's all right. Yeah, it's just, it's like a lot of random stuff, uh, but I can use the Annie fire since I'll be at Super Annie's, ugh, Super Annie's soon. Um, battle staves are worth a little bit of alking, it's, it's okay. And more junk. Uh, I've got a hard clue to do now, though. I went and did a, uh, a Zilliana run, because, um, well, I can use a Sarah sword, uh, the amulets will be good to get, and it's my, um my soul reaper task i didn't do my my giant mole one that was going to be worth like two points or whatever um but I've, i did a 10 kill count the first trip uh which i think was pretty good um you know it's the gear i'm using i even had vampirism on and this is the bunyip it's about to expire uh from it um i mean it was all right it seems really hard uh to me right now like the i have a lot of accuracy problems and they hit really hard um but, you know, 10 kills then. Hopefully I can pull, like, 12 kills on the next trip, and then, uh, you know, the Reaper task will be taken care of. Uh, and, you know, maybe I'll, I'll get a good drop eventually. I lied about that being the, uh, the last clip of the day. I do want to say that today is Christmas Eve, and, well, it's past midnight, so it's actually Christmas now. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, it's not much going to happen tomorrow on uh, day 73. This is my first scroll mission. Did it? Six, yes! Yes! So that means, first scroll, yeah, there we go. Awesome. So uh, my force is progressing quite a bit, uh, if I can see my resources, yeah. Uh, I'm working towards that 4k slate right now that I need for the third ship, and uh, I mean I can't do stuff like this so I have to skip them, but um, yeah, doing pretty well right now. Okay, for like the actual last clip of today, I'm going to be turning in the God Wars Dungeon Challenge that I got. Because I'm interested in how much XP this lamp gives. Um, I guess it'll go in... Strength? Sure? Uh, only 15k. Okay, so God Wars uh, dailies are worth skipping. That's good to know. Yeah, I only do like daily herb runs, or well daily farm runs right now because I'm not doing a lot of Slayer, uh, so I'm, I'm actually burning through my herb seeds over time still. Um, and because, you know, allotment runs don't give that much, I only need to go once daily for the uh, uh, for the fruit trees that you get from, I um, can't remember his name, uh, eh, the little tree guy over here in Kerwis District, right here, this guy? Yeah, uh, Coedon, yeah, that's right. Um, you only get like one day's worth of trees, so yeah, let's just do one farm run every day. Okay, on to the next clip, which is just going to be some random thing tomorrow. Well, it's now way late at night. Uh, again, this is Christmas Day, so I hope you didn't really expect too much of me uh, for Christmas Day. Um, 
just doing some daily stuff like Jack of Trades and really tired right now but I think I'll do some uh, some AFK skilling and just update my ports because uh, I want to keep progressing there uh, but you know I have a lot of fish to cook for example um, like 800 monkfish here and then you know I gotta do like my daily invention shop run and uh, you know the usual stuff um, but that's about all I'm gonna do tonight I, I gained like one or two hundred thousand experience this morning before I left but uh, I've been gone for like 12 hours or more yeah so uh on to the next clip which will probably just be tomorrow morning start of day 74 and uh, I noticed last night though I didn't mention it um, my channel hit 100 subscribers yesterday and I'm just I'm, I'm so happy about that right now um, I don't sound like it because I just woke up from a fantastic rest <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm just I'm so happy to see that number uh, I mean, for something that I, I'm doing, like, for fun and, like, as a sort of challenge to myself uh, to see that people enjoy the content that I'm making and uh, continue to come back and, and watch it. Like, my watch time is going up. My views are continue to go up. I'm just... I'm, I'm like, uh, over the world right now, or whatever the phrase is. Bah. Um, <laughs> doing heaven agility. Okay, that that's what I'm doing. I'm making progress. Uh, from now on, whenever it's half an hour or Ithil hour or Treherne hour, I'm going to be doing like one of three things. I'm always going to try to take advantage of them. So Hefna is going to be uh, agility plus some free prayer. Um, Ithil is going to be harps, and uh, Treherne is going to be concentrated coal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that for a long time, but at least until I hit 81, uh, which I'm like five or six hours of grinding away from. So, uh, yeah, that's going to take another day or two. Uh, I'm also trying to be very consistent with my ports and staying in Prif uh, really gives you good access to ports. Okay, I just had to make a clip of this. I did low, high, high. It's one, two, one on. Th really? Just want to go ahead and make this clip for my uh, Road to Comp series. Uh, I'm going to do another day of PVM. I figure it's a little overdue now. Uh, but now that the holidays are out of the way, uh, you know, I can happily spend the day training combat and getting supplies for invention and training invention uh, when running through my uh, hand cannon stack. And there's another court case complete. Uh, I got a court summons from a... Um, uh, hard clue scroll. Going to use this on Herblore, of course. So happy that it allows me to do that. More raw monkfish, some U logs. Good enough. Not sure if I mentioned it in the last clip, but I'm doing a uh, day of PVM today, and uh, well, I got my first item to level 10, which means uh, let's disassemble this baby. And, oh man, 499,500 invention XP, only at 232k so far. Uh, so, invention gains incoming. Uh, gotta post this in my clan chat. So, invention, my level is 28. <laughs> oh man, oh man, 38. <laughs> nice, nice. Time to go do some, uh, some, uh, what's it, discovery or, or, uh, whatever it's called. Use up my inspiration that I just got, my 1100. So, here doing my Nimi Forest daily, and, uh, got a new plan for tomorrow. Uh, day of PVM is now over, um, but this, this Firewatch, uh, Slayer task came up, and it, uh, gave me an idea, and that's that I should finally get... Um, my Sun Spear should finally get that taken care of and finish up the Vampire Quest series. Uh, all I need is 79 Construction, 76 Hunter, uh, 76 Fire Making, and 75 Fletching. I believe that's everything that I have left to do. And uh, funnily enough, I have a Construction Daily and a Fletching Daily, <laughs> plus... 
I can go for my enhanced Yak Twee Stick and get that taken care of. That'll get me uh, probably 75 Hunter. And then uh, it's just a little bit of fire making. Oh, cool. And there's, uh, yeah, there's 70 farming too uh, from my daily runs here in uh, Nimi Forest and uh, making sure I'm doing my daily fruit tree run as well. Hopefully that'll be 75 before too long so I can get, um, oh, what's it called? Harmony Moss. Yeah, and I can start making perfect juju potions, uh, get my mining up and my smithing, and get lots of uh, precious components from gold bars. It, y yeah, y you know, you know how it works. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for the rest of tonight and tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll get there. I'm still going to be focusing on taking uh, taking advantage of uh, Voice of Saren hours, you know. Um, if I can AFK for an hour doing uh, harps, then it's just another hour that I'm taking off of uh, my road to completionist. So, yeah, uh, that's the plan. Had some Chronicle Fragments saved up and going to get some Divination Gains. Uh, 12k, that's actually, uh, that's not too much. See, can I light any of this stuff yet? No, not yet. Alright, turning in the U uh, Shield Bow. Fletching Challenge. Um, whoa, 60k XP. That's huge. <laughs> I did not expect that. I should have extended it. That would have been like 120k Fletching. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, that puts me uh, really close to 75, 35k away. Uh, so I just gotta string these, really, and then I could cut some more, and uh, I'll be good. Uh, that's the last clip for tonight. Well, things are going to be a smidge laggy right here because I'm uh, uploading right now, but here's the Mahogany Wardrobes Daily Challenge done. Uh, 36k construction, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see what's in the bag. Uh, nice, 180 mahogany planks. That pays back like half of what I just spent, so um, uh, I'm going to go finish up 79 here, uh, then I'm going to work on Charm Sprites. And got to make a clip of me finishing this week's statue. It's going to explode. And there we go. That's uh, taken care of. I was trying to rush and get that done before the weekly reset, because I always do it on the... Uh, like right before the weekly reset. That's when I've been finishing it every week. And uh, it's kind of a, a rush to actually get that done right now. And here we go. Got the enhanced Yak Tui stick. Uh, glad to have that out of the way. It's actually a comp requirement. Um, so going to get uh, all my charms out of all this stuff. And yeah got a divination daily challenge re-rolled it and dungeoneering uh, so I may go for that uh, 95 dungeoneering fairly soon to open up the uh, garageo resource dungeon um, don't know if I'll extend this one I probably will just for the XP what's this a quest yeah firemakers curse done um, and got the book of char which I think is it's really good to use daily. Uh, never done it before, uh, so I'm gonna try that out. Go learn it. <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> Hold up. Okay, <laughs> I think uh, I just I just got my first skilling pet. There we go. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I gotta make that my new override. Some people are gonna be so salty. That's only at seventy four fletching. <laughs> Oh, oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> End of the clip. That's just... That's insane. 
it's been a few minutes now and I've, I've kind of calmed down. Um, but I, I just, I couldn't stop laughing. Like, I, w I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, I'm, I'm doing, uh, like, random item flips on the companion app right now using my other account. Uh, just trying to make money to afford, like, bank boosters and the rest of the gold premiere membership. And I hear, like, the, the fireworks, and I'm like, wait, what? Did I, I level up? That sounded early. And then I read the chat, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> um, yeah, so some people are going to be incredibly salty. Uh, below 1.2M. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Yeah, so as soon as I hit 75 here, I'm uh, going to go do next hour's Big Chin and some more Hunter. Um, and I'll get 76, and I think that'll be all the quests I need to get River of Blood out of the way. Yeah, Lord of Vampirium, River of Blood, and then I'll do the Void Stairs back and unlock the Sixth Age Circuit. Um, yeah, I might stay up all night tonight, I don't know. Uh... It's kind of between now and the next three hours that I decide, because <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m., uh, but if I do, I'm going to change it to day 76 before too long. So, just making a clip here as I finish up a round of Big Chin Champa. Um, this is the first round that I've actually passed 1111 points, and that is a uh, completionist cape requirement. Uh, it's kind of a random one, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, but I managed to do it without even uh, access to the top two tiers of mods, which is kind of uh, it's kind of impressive. I really just went, like, this is a really empty big chin game, um, so it's really easy to score high, because uh, it takes a long time for people to fill up this bar. Uh, but yeah, that's probably going to do it. And uh, just got a little bit of Hunter to grind out, about 300 of these guys to catch, and... Uh, yeah, that's that taken care of. Um, uh, then I think I need like a a thieving level, and then a few more crafting levels for uh, within the light, and I can pretty much get quest cape. Um, well, aside from the smithing, the mining, and the strength, yeah, that's gonna be a bit uh, difficult because um, I need smithing. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to get 85 smithing for uh, what's it called? Birthright of the Dwarves, yeah, or 82 smithing. And with this, there is my 76 hunter goal out of the way. Um, not too many levels left to go till Quest Cape and Lord of Vampirium, so I'm gonna go and, uh, well, sleep right now, it's like 3 a.m., and yeah, I may as well just sleep. Um, but tomorrow will be started with quests. Alright, starting day 76, uh, got a scroll mission. Nice! Yes, so that's the second part of my Death Lotus top, I believe. And, uh, yeah, moving along in ports. And there's the end of Lord of Vampirium. Uh, lots of XP for that. Let's, uh, use this on... yeah, of course. Herblore. Every single time. There's no other option. Awesome. There's, uh, 81. Cool, I can now make, uh, Ceridoman brews, too, and I have quite a few of those in the bank. There we go. End of River of Blood. So, that's the end of the Vampire Quest series. I now have the, uh, Great Sun Spear. And, let me see. Tome of XP... More herb lore, and more herb lore, and more herb lore. There we go. And really close to uh, 83. If I go make my Ceridoman brews, I'll, I'll be there already. Uh, which means I can boost to make anti-fires using the banner. Um, so yeah, that's taken care of. Alright, this clip might be a little bit laggy, but uh, let's upgrade the dragon hatchet from my tool belt. And uh, there we go. Now have the crystal hatchet, both crystal tools unlocked. So I streamed for a little bit earlier, did some uh, dungeoneering and my dungeoneering daily challenge. And you can see I'm about 2 million experience away from 95 now. And uh, it's now an Ireworth hour, so I'm just, or an Ithil hour, so I'm taking advantage of that. Um, 
and uh, yeah, and I also finished off this 83 Herblore goal that I had. Uh, so now I can boost to make Super Antifires. Uh, going to do that in a little bit, and um, I don't know. I'm going to... I'm, con I'm considering trying to push for Soul Split and Overloads next week, uh, but I don't know if I can do both of those within the same week uh, with my current gear set, uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but for now, I'm just I'm still pushing towards that 86 crafting that I need. Um, it's only like 13 more Ithil hours left, uh, maybe 12 after this one. And uh, yeah, just getting the stats up, doing the usual grindy stuff. So, in my uh, player-owned ports now, and if you look at my voyages remaining, there's only two left, right? Which means, uh, well, the fact that I was focused on the arc, uh, and got all of the bamboo I needed, is just, uh, fine and dandy. It's absolutely fantastic, because uh, I can upgrade my office now, and get an additional slip, uh, ship slot. Blech. Awesome. Um, so I need to put in the one uh, captain I still have, and I guess I can, I don't know, fit it out with morale or something? Yeah, I, I guess I'll do a, a morale ship. Uh, yeah, so my player on ports is doing uh, quite well. Um, don't actually think I can send this one out because it's not going to be uh, nearly high enough. Um, I actually have, uh, I don't know if I recorded a clip earlier, but I have two parts to my Death Lotus chest plate. Uh, yeah, I don't think I clipped that because I was streaming. Uh, where's it at? Port management. And over. Yeah. Uh, so I've got two quarters of this now. Hopefully I'll get some, uh, some more lucky days with the Exile. And before too long I'll have the Assassin unlocked here, uh, from Slayer, which will increase my chances of finding scroll missions. Well, I now have the Ornate Bowl, so the tiers are worth uh, 300 XP now. Uh, hopefully that all goes into farming. Oh, Invention. Well, um, okay, so uh, 27k Invention. It would have been 54k farming, I think. Wait, let's see. 185 times 300. Yeah, yeah, okay. It would have been like 55k farming. Um, well, you know... The invention level is nice, uh, but hopefully I'll get that above farming before too long. <laughs> so, it's now day 77. I uh, haven't done too much as of yet. Just burning through some cooking supplies that I had saved up, and I've done an Ithil Hour. Uh, but while I was doing Ithil Hour and harps, I made myself a uh, fancy new thumbnail for all of my videos, uh, at least all of the Road to Com Cape ones. Uh, yeah, had to felt like I had to upgrade it instead of just using the randomly generated from a clip in the video. Uh, yeah. Well, um, don't really know what my plans are for today. I'm still considering uh, pushing for uh, Soul Split next week, or maybe Soul Split and Overloads, uh, and trying to figure out how I can do it. Uh, doing some, you know, mathscape, some math of runescape junk, and um, yeah, just continuing to uh, burning through these cooking supplies, stocked up some uh, some monkfish up there, and uh, yeah, on to the next clip. I also do want to note that I uh, augmented my sun spear, and I put um, I made some really basic gizmos. It's a uh, crackling two, and precise two. Um, I think I used like magic components for this, and I can't remember right. I use what I used for this here. Um, but I just had some components uh, saved up, and I wanted to, uh, you know, make my uh, DPSing a little bit better. Um, I need to go and complete a Criara, Re Criara Reaper task. I'll probably end up doing that today. Um, so I wanted to make this a little bit better than it was before. Just finished a super long Criara Reaper task. Um, it took like two different days and like five trips to get the 20 something kills I needed. Eight from Telus, uh, no thanks. Uh, let's see, twelve from Barrows. Yeah, I'll, I'll go do that later, because um, I still need the uh, full Barrows sets for more Tanyalex. So last day of the week, I uh, got my new daily, and um, yeah, 
it's another dungeoneering challenge. I had to re-roll it from farming, which was crap, um, but nice. Uh, that much XP, and maybe like another prestige, I'll be 93. Uh, well on my way to 95 for the Garage Resource Dungeon, though. Alright, and thanks to a few good friends, I can now afford the Premier Club Gold Membership. Going to take care of that. Uh, I had a friend give me a, a kind of long-term loan. Uh, he expects me to pay him back eventually, but I don't know if I will before I comp. Uh, gonna relog because I'm going to go get uh, Supreme Jack of Trades now, uh, now that I can afford it. And uh, yeah, now I have Gold Premier Club. About to go take advantage of the Ithil Hour. Thought I'd show off my first Supreme Drag of Trades book. 17k Herbalore, that's pretty good. Uh, gonna be getting that every single day. Also wanted to note that I got the Greater Sharpshooter Aura, which is 5% accuracy for an hour. Um, plan on doing... well, hope to be doing Araxor before too long and uh, gonna have to be doing it with ranged because ranged is the way to go there uh, so I went ahead and got the sharpshooter aura uh, I don't have much left in the way of loyalty points 13 and a half K um, so I'll probably just be upgrading the sharpshooter aura in I don't know a month or two whenever I can so as I've been running out of bank space recently um, I've been doing a little free earn rune coin offers uh, on my other screen while doing ithal hours and I just got my first one um, so I just got some more bank space, uh, yeah, something like that, so I should be able to go over 468 now, it says it takes you from 771 to 821, um, I might have to re-log to, to actually see that happen in the bank, uh, but yeah, that's a thing. I also did some Slayer earlier, um, in, as in, uh, well, have a greater demons task. So I was doing uh, Krill for a while. And uh, I'm going to go finish up on actual greater demons with my Sun Spear. It's about hit, about to hit level 10, and then I'm going to have to um, disassemble it uh, because I don't have siphons quite yet. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of power slaying the next few days. Probably going to be streaming a lot through it. Um, just because I'm trying to push those uh, prayer and herb levels. And it's time yet again to get some invention gains. Uh, so I've got my Sun Spear level 10, disassemble it, and oh man, five invention levels, that's pretty good. 4.3k inspiration, uh, just what I needed. Let's see, what can I now use? Uh, maximum charge improvement, I can do a specialty. And, uh, yeah, gotta go get my Sun Spear back, which, uh, rip 600k. And, uh, gotta go get some powerful components, I think, to make an augmenter. Um, yeah, I don't have enough of these yet. And, uh, doing the Jadingo task, following my Greater Demons, and uh, I got my last piece for my first Crystal Triskelion. Uh, that's the first of the account. Uh, hopefully it'll be some good loot. That's, that's alright. Yeah, and then I can go... Uh, I got another Trisk piece again. And, uh... Gonna go run this Elite Clue. And here's the Elite Casket. Wow. Wow. And here's a Hard Clue from a Jadinko Task. I uh, got a Blue Dragon Mask, which is new. And then some, uh... I guess, decent Alchemony. Um, and I think that's going to wrap it up for the week... Uh, I am going to start doing some Herblore Habitat... <laughs> Herblore Habitat stuff. Um, I don't quite have a high enough farming or hunter level to do everything there. Uh, but I didn't really know how the mechanics worked. I just looked up a video, it's like two or three years old. And the seeds you get is based on the uh, Jadinko that's currently attracted. So I'm going to get the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The Carrion Jadinko. Uh, attract it which just uh, means I have to catch some common Jadinkos and get the uh, a certain seed for a Calferberry bush, plant the bush, and um, yeah, then I can get the uh, good seeds that I need for perfect juju potions. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this week. I ended up breaking 73 mil, um, which pretty good XP gains. 
Uh, you can see I've stocked up some stuff uh, for disassembling here. That's not too much. I'm going to burn through all of these maple logs as well as some more. I'll probably end up stringing all of these and using those as well. And uh, I'm considering, uh, because I'm going to be doing uh, Superior Leap Void this weekend. Um, I don't really need it, but it's double points on pest control, so I'll just burn through that like tomorrow and the next day and it'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, that is the end of week 11. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I've now started to add annotations and stuff to the end of the video, so you can click on the right side of the screen to continue to next week. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Time for more gains.